Carlo Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you do choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a super cute DIY using these craft mason jars that the Dollar Tree carries for just about every holiday. They have them at Christmas, they had them for Valentine's Day, they've got them now for Easter. And these are really cute, but what do you do with them? They're very similar to a mason jar and I've never done a DIY using them. Allie likes to scour Pinterest. She is so my daughter. She really is. She is just so like inspired to DIY all the time. And I tell you for every holiday, she likes to DIY her friends a gift. She's got three friends that she's really close to and she likes to give them a gift for every holiday. And I just love it and I encourage it. And I think it's great that she likes to do it. She saw this DIY on Pinterest and when I saw it, I knew instantly what I could use for this DIY from the Dollar Tree and it was these plastic crafting mason jars. And so today's DIY is just a cute, fun DIY and it's nothing that is my idea. It was totally Pinterest inspired, but I like to bring you along on these budget friendly DIYs because maybe you haven't seen them and give you alternatives to what they use on Pinterest that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Did that make any sense? Alternatives to what they tell you to use on Pinterest but you can get at the Dollar Tree. That's what I should have said. Anyhow, this DIY is fun, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and it's something that can easily be made because Easter is coming. It is perfect for Easter that you can gift out that kids are going to love. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let's get to doing some DIY cute Easter crafts today for kids. Why not? Alrighty, so getting started, like I said, I'll be using these craft bottles, but for this DIY, I'm gonna be using three of them. I'm gonna start off by taking some of my Waverly chalk paint in the color of white, and I'm gonna give all of the caps a nice good couple coats of this. Any acrylic paint will do. You may just need to put a few more coats if you're using like an apple barrel or a folk art. Then using some cardstock or copy paper, scrap paper, notepad, anything will do. I'm gonna fold my paper and I'm gonna fold it at about two inches because I'm gonna make a template for rabbit ears. And it's always easier if you do it on a fold so you don't have to worry about both sides being symmetrical, being the same. And so if you only have to worry about one side, it's a lot easier because then when you take your scissors and you cut it, you've got symmetrical ears on both sides. Super easy. I like to make a template because when I'm making multiple of an item, it's just easier to do. Now taking the ear that I just cut out, I'm going to trace it because I need to make a smaller ear. And so to make a smaller ear, once I trace the ear, I'm just going to cut right along the inside. I'm not going to cut right on the line, just about a centimeter or two along the inside of the line, which is going to give me, again, a smaller ear to go inside of the bigger ear. For my bunny ears, I will be using foam sheets. This is a 10 pack by Crafter Square that you can find at Dollar Tree. It's got a lot of really great colors in it. So it's worth it if you can find it. If you can't find it, Michaels has this 15 pack of foam sheets by Craftology with some amazing colors as well. The colors that I'll be using is this pastel blue, pink and yellow and white. I'm gonna use the white for the larger ear and I'm gonna trace out six of the larger ear. And for those colored foam sheets, I'm gonna use the smaller ear and I'm gonna trace out two ears for each color. And again, I find when cutting these out, if you fold it in half, it really does make it a lot easier. 
and using some hot glue, I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue the colored ears onto the white ears. And so just like that, we've made some adorable rabbit ears that are super easy to do. And like I said, you wanna make sure that you have two of each color and the colors that I'm using are the blue, pink, and yellow just to kind of go along with Easter. For the bunny's whiskers, I'll be using some white pipe cleaner that I just folded into threes and then I just kind of cut where it's folded. This gives you three even pieces, but I ended up trimming down the whiskers anyway because they were a bit long. I twisted them in the middle, the three pieces, and using some hot glue, I'm just going to place it on the lower half of the mason jar. Now, if you don't have any pom-poms in your stash, Dollar Tree has this 60 pack by Crafter Square that has a great color selection. But because I had some in my stash, I'm gonna use this solid pink one and just hot glue it to the middle of the whiskers. I'll also be using some of these googly eyes. Again, Dollar Tree has this multi-sized pack, 125 for a dollar. You're gonna dive into your stash if you have them and you're gonna use these for the bunny's eyes and just using a low temperature hot glue because you don't wanna melt the back of the eyes, just glue them to the top of the mason jar here. To attach the bunny's ears, I'm gonna place just a bit of hot glue on the bottom edge of the ear here and hot glue it to the back side of the mason jar lid. Oh my word, I have to say it, these are so stinking cute. Now you can see for the yellow one, I didn't have a yellow pom-pom, but I did have a nice stash of white pom-poms. So I decided just to take a Sharpie marker and I found the bright yellow and I'm just gonna go ahead and color in the pom-pom. So if all you have are the white pom-poms on hand because so many of us have them from Christmas time, just pull out your markers and color them. No need to go out and get colored ones. I think honestly from here on out, I probably won't even buy colored ones because I think it's just a lot easier to have white and be able to color them. So you kind of cut down on what's in your stash. To fill these bunnies, yes, Allie decided she wanted to go with a color coordinating slime for each of the bunnies. How fun is that? This was such a fun thing. I really enlisted her to make this slime. She did this on her own. Yes, I was supervising, but she really does have making slime down because the recipe that we use is super easy, super basic, and it's one that I feel like a lot of us already have the ingredients for because it's such a basic recipe and it makes a great slime. The basic recipe that I'm gonna post for you is that using just a regular baking soda white school glue of any kind. It doesn't have to be Elmer's and contact lens solution as an activator. You can also go ahead and use a clear glue if you wanted to, if that's what you had on hand with the same, this type of baking soda. And I personally always use the Walmart brand solution because you get two for under $3. This here is the recipe that Allie uses. It's very easy to follow. It's easy to do. It really just comes out perfect every time. If you wanna add glitter or food coloring to it, it also is very easy using the same ingredients. You just add a few drops of the food coloring. If you don't have food coloring on hand, you can use an acrylic paint if you wanted to. And here again is the recipe for that by Elmer's. Super easy to do and like I said, a lot of the times we already have this on hand so it's a, something that'll give the kids something to do right now. And would you look at how stinking cute these turned out. Such a quick, easy, budget-friendly DIY, something that's gonna keep us busy, keep the kids busy, and it's fun. Now how stinking cute is this DIY? I love it, it was easy to do, it was budget friendly, and everything you need for it, you can get at the Dollar Tree. I think that this was really, I love that Allie just goes along Pinterest, she sees things, she pins them to her board, she has her own Pinterest account, and she just brings me her iPad and shows me what she wants to do, when she wants to do it, and I think it's great. 
Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this DIY bunny slime mason jar. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.